Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm gonna be doing another movie review. This time around, I'm gonna be doing doing a review for um, the 1986 movie, The Name of the Rose. Um, with the uh, the original title is Der Name Der Rose, so yeah. Um, apparently that's the original title, even though. So yeah, um, I thought that was an American film, so yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not from out of the country, so. Whatever. Um, th this movie stars Sean Connery, Christian Slater, a uh, Helmut Qualtinger, um, Eliza Baskin, Michael Longsdale, William Hickey, and Theodore Sh Shalapin Jr. Um, and Valentina Vargas. Yeah, the only girl in this whole film is Valentina Vargas. Um, I'm gonna get that into that why later um so yeah before i begin though 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch um the movie and haven't already um s please stop the video go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review 10 second spoiler warning as usual starting now okay so 10 seconds are up so for those who have yet for those that have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me. They'll never give you a fair warning because, as usual, I did. So, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rates. Um, so, basically, you have these two monks, um, the William of Baskerville, played by Sean Connery, and Adso of Melk, um, played by Christian Slater. Um, basically, you have these two monks um, who go to this cathedral, I guess that's the proper word. Not exactly. Um, to these... Um, to this abbey, you know, the, um, I guess abbey or castle, whatever you want to call it, um, where they live, um, and they're, and they're basically there, they're gonna, basically originally they were just gonna go there, stay there a couple nights, and then go back to wherever they came from, however, there, um, however, now there's these murders, it's a, it's, it's a murder mystery, which is actually pretty interesting, and I really did like it, uh, it basically, it's a murder mystery, um, murder mystery, you have the religion involved, um, the Christian religion involved, and kind of, um, combines bi biblical myths with the murders, and it's overall actually a pretty gr um, good movie. Um, one thing I really did enjoy is how they didn't shove the religion right in your face. I mean, yes, you do have monks, um, you know, you do you do have monks, you do have priests and whatever, um, the um, priests and like the pope and whatnot, and this is back all the way in the 16 and 1700s. So, yeah. And so, I, so I mean, despite the fact that they had all these like Christian figures, I guess, with the monks, popes, priests, fathers, whatever, I really did like. I did like how they didn't shove the religion right in your face. They kind of gave tidbits about it, you know, the religion, how this uh, this applies to the murders in this case, and why this makes sense according to the Bible. Um, I did like that, uh, but they never really shoved the religion in your face. So I really did like that. Um, the acting by Sean Connery. Pretty, uh, it's pretty good in my opinion. So, um, Christian Slater, he's also a, also a pretty good actor. I haven't really seen him in much. Um, so yeah, I really did like the, um, did like his performance in this movie. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the writing throughout the movie, that was pretty cool. And, I, and you know, it was, again, as I said before, it was interesting how they wrote, um, some of the religious, biblical aspects of the movie and with the murders. And overall, that was pretty cool. And, you, and it is th a thrill, um, it is a thriller as well, um, to, uh, to some extent, because you do have, um, which is kind of funny, you have the Pope, or the, the Pope, um, essentially being the villain, which was pretty interesting, and it's, um, and I think, I'm pretty sure this is not historically accurate at all, um, I, I highly doubt this is historically, historically accurate, um, I'd be shocked if, if any of this was true. But basically, um, they they have some things when it comes to geographics. Like geographically, they do have some things um historically accurate. And I'm not saying like, oh yes, this was by a forest or some bullshit like that. No, uh, I'm saying like for the time because I I watched this in my European history class. Um, you ha it was basically and and I I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't pay much attention in in European history class. But basically, you had um France, I believe it was. Um, or Spain, basically, um, I'm pretty sure it was actually not Spain, they had, like, they basically decided to have their own Pope system outside of, um, the Italian Pope system, um, Pope system of time, because this is the 1700s, so, um, basically, 
and Ari Ari Young or Averong Avery Young, how do you pronounce that? Avery Young. Um. I'm pretty sure that's in Spain. Basically, um, takes place close to Avery Young, or however you pronounce that, A Avery Young. Um, and basically, the Pope, do the Pope, and this movie does come from there. And it was pretty interesting how he says, you know, how in Avery Young this shit doesn't happen. And it was pretty, um, pretty cool. And I really did like they did have some kind of historical, geographical, um, accuracies with that. You know, at with Avery Young, fuck, um, you know, that, the place I'm talking about, um, Avery Young, Avery Young. Fuck it, whatever it's called. Um, so I did like that. Um, again, pre a really good thriller in my opinion. It was a pretty good thriller. Um, so and I read again the, um, the the, the killings are are pretty brutal. Um, I mean you have three, um, two people burnt at a and f just fucking burned Joan of Arc style. Um, I mean you have two people burned. One guy is impaled by. One guy, the Pope at the end, spoilers, is f he, the guy is fucking murdered at the end. Um, basically, the civilians, though, who are living around the this castle, um, they basically get fed up with the Pope, and they basically pu um, push his carriage right off a cliff, and he and he basically gets impaled by, I guess, one of the sticks of wood that came out from a stagecoach or something, or a huge stick or a tree, whatever. Um, he basically gets impaled, so that was pretty brutal. Um, you have, like, two guys with their heads bashed and another guy poisoned. Um, so, yeah, you have about, like, five or six deaths, I believe, throughout the whole movie. Um, and, yeah, and then the, you also, the one, the only female, aside from extras, which I don't, even after that, I don't think the... I think there's maybe two or three female extras, but aside from that, the only main character who who was a female, Valentina Vargas, I think she did a pretty good job. She, um, she had to play, like, this timid character, you know, kind of shy, timid, um, which is also pretty funny, because she also had, like, two sex scenes, um, which came out of almost nowhere, I'd have to say. I mean, they kind of explained um, the first sex scene, um, the, the first sex scene um, a bit, saying that, you know, the village women sometimes come in because they're paid by the... P, um, priests or whatever to have, you know, have some, to have your fun, um, so I guess you kind of confused him with, well, confused Christian, um, Christian, Christopher Slater's, Christian Slater's, um, um, character with one of the, with the guys who got paid to fuck, so it's, they kind of explain it, um, nice body, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a dude, I'm just gonna say that straight up, um, so yeah, now, any negatives, I will say, there were a few, a few, a few, there are a few slow parts, towards the end of the movie, like, I just have to say that during the third part, it does kind of lose steam, it does kind of get a bit boring towards, um, towards the end, the end, not predictable, it doesn't really become predictable, it's just, um, I feel, um, it's, I think it's a great movie throughout the whole film, but I think it starts being not as good as a Kubrick, I think there was, uh, some, it's just kind of a roast, because it did start getting a little bit boring from time to time, um, towards the, towards the last, like, half hour of the film, I mean, but aside from that, overall, it's a pretty good movie. I, again, I really did like how um, I did like how they didn't shove the religion in your face. Um, pretty, which was pretty good, especially and um, with that, um, you know, great acting from from Sean Connery, Christian Slater, um, all the other people in, in this movie. Um, not a pretty good murder mystery to say the least. Also, um, overall, I did enjoy it, and I mean. Yeah, overall, great movie. On a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'd give this an 8 out of 9. It's pretty great. Um, really great movie, in my opinion. Do check it out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, it's actually, it's actually a pretty great movie. I'm not going to not gonna lie. I actually really want to watch it again. Um, yeah. I feel like this is one of those movies that I think left an impact on me. Because normally relig religious films, I really don't give two shits about. And... Like, I really don't give two shits about, or, like, I thought, you know, sometimes they're good, and, like, yeah, they're good, but whatever. Um, I read, you know, whatever. Or, like, they're bad, because, you know, they're religious films. Um, I think this is one of the few religious films I actually think I enjoyed, because they don't shove the religion in your face. It's, um, and, again, it's not a fully religious film, like, Jesus on the, Jesus on the thing, or, you know, it's not even, um, biographical from a Pope's perspective, or whatever, so, no, bi biopic of a Pope. But still, I, there is the religious elements on it, and yeah, overall, I really did enjoy the film. And I do think it, it's probably one of those few films I do have to say and admit that left an impact on impact on me. Um, again, really great movie, and yeah, um, very few movies actually leave an impact on me. Um, 
very few, um, whether it be bad or good, just very few movies actually leave some kind of impact on me. Um, and with that, I think that would go, um, I think this is probably one of my favorite films of all time. Um, now I'd have to actually check which one I like, um, but it definitely would go within like the top 20 or something like that of all time for me. Honestly, a really great movie. Um, yeah, on a scale, one, um, as I said before, 8 out of 10, sorry. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, aside from that, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Um, aside from that, subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. And comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen it? And if not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? And yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, like the video, and that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.